What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna start restoring the gel coat on my boat. I'm super nervous about this because I'm gonna be doing some wet sanding and some polishing and some buffing and some finishing and all that kind of stuff. But it's, the gel coat is super dull and I don't think this has ever been done to it. Um, you know, you can't do this. I don't think you can do this a whole bunch of times in, in the gel coat's life. So um, I'm gonna do it this time and then I'm gonna take care of it and maintain it. Um, I think it was kind of been neglected over the years and uh, you know, the, the boat's certainly been loved, but it's been neglected, the, the paint anyways. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is uh, try to restore uh, this this gel coat and first thing I have to do is start taking the stickers off. Um, that's fun. I already kind of started that, so you won't be able to see that. But basically what I'm doing is just taking a heat gun and getting them started and pulling them off. But they leave a whole bunch of residue. So I got some of this sticker goo gone. We'll see how that works. I mean, it, it's, it's not horrible. I'm going to be wet sanding, so the wet sanding might get through it. I have no idea. But, I mean, I wanted the stickers off because I wanted to just put my own stickers on it. This is somebody else's stickers. There's could be their sponsors, whatever. It's not mine. Um, I want my own. I want to make this my own. So I'm taking them off. There's a couple little stickers I'm leaving on, but um, yeah, for the most part. So yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I'll show you the different stages of doing this and um, uh, before and after. Okay, so here's the before. I did do a test spot. I'll show you at the end. That's the test spot. And by the way, before I started all of this, I just washed my boat down. I just cleaned it down with just some, some boat wash that I have. Um, you can just clean it with, with dish soap or whatever you want to use but just to get any big pieces of dirt away from it just so when you're sanding or whatever it doesn't get kind of scratched in there but yeah just just wash your boat off um before you start even just rinse it off all right all i'm doing for the wet sanding is i'm using sandpaper that you can use uh, wet or dry um and i'm i'm using different grits so i'm starting at a 400 grit because my boat is very, very oxidized. And then I'm going to an 800, then 1,000, then 1,500, then 2,000 grit. Um, and I have it all laid out right here. And I've already used some of it, I've already started. That's what I'm using there. I start off with that. Once I'm, once I'm done that, then I, uh, I use a polisher or a buffer, whatever you want to call it. And then there's different uh, pads to use on it. So I'll show you what I'm doing for the wet sanding. I'm just using this, uh, that's the sandpaper there. And this is like a wet sanding uh, block. I'm, let's see if I get this open here, sorry. There we go. So it comes apart. And basically inside there's just some, some screws there and you put it on the screws. Just like that. So there. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Okay, and then you just put this top on. So it just fits into those grooves. Hammer it down. And then you have a nice flat surface. I've seen guys do it just by hand, like not in a, in a, in a block or whatever like this. 
Um, and I've seen guys, they say, you got to do it like that. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of both because there's lots of curves and areas that, that you know, this isn't going to uh, get to. So uh, anyways, let me kind of show you what I'm doing. Oh, and by the way, you have to have, um, you have to have it wet, obviously, right? So they do recommend having some dish soap um, in with the water. So you just pour yourself um, just a dish or a container with water and dish soap. So that's that. That's that was the um, the 400 grip. So basically, you just keep you just keep sanding it. You don't have to sand as hard as you can, but uh, just a light to medium pressure, I'd say, medium pressure at most. Just keep sanding it, and I've just rinsing it off with uh, with a hose, and then uh, sanding it again and uh, you know you don't want to go too crazy again i don't know how thick these gel coats are but um and then basically you do you repeat the steps uh throughout all the different uh grits of sandpaper so whatever you think you need and, and i recommend doing a test spot on the boat that you don't care about that much um you know just in case and i did a test spot at the back it worked out very very well but uh so that's why I started at 400. So just do a test spot, maybe even start at 1,000 uh, grit. And then if it doesn't, um, you know, if, it, if it's not taking the oxidization off, maybe go to an 800, then go to a, a 400. Um, I've heard, I heard one guy using 200 and something grit. I mean, that would have to be really bad. But uh, I wouldn't recommend that unless you really know what you're doing or you don't care if you rack it. <laughs> so just be be really careful there. Yeah, I'll start out with 400 grit. Now, I'm just starting out with 400. Um, if your boat isn't as oxidized, use something higher, start at an 800 or a 1000 grit. Um, but mine's super oxidized, it's really bad. So I'm starting out uh, with a 400 and I did a test spot, it's working out really, really well. I'll show you really quick. That's not done. That's pretty much done. So you can see, you can see a reflection in it. I'm really, really happy with the way um, that it's turning out. It's gonna be a ton of work. So anyways, when you're done wet sanding and that part that you just saw is, is also buffed as well or polished. So I'll show you what, uh, what I do for the buffing polishing. So there's three uh, different stages to this. Um, the first one is the uh, oxidization remover. That's what I'm using there. It's just a uh, Meguiar's oxidization re remover, heavy duty. And then you use this, this pad here. You just want to make sure you get a pad that's a cutting pad, basically, that's good for, you know, removing oxidization. The next step is polish. And basically when you're, when you're done with each step, like when I'm done with this one, I just wipe it off with a cloth and I just go straight to the next step. So yeah, this one's the, uh, the Meguiar's uh, Boat RV polish. And that's a polishing pad there. And then the last step is, is a wax. I mean, you don't have to go too crazy with which wax you use, but um, I'm, I'm also using a Meguiar's wax. 
that's the one I'm using there. And then you just get a, um, a pad for, for waxing or a final step pad, whatever the company calls it. Um, I'm just using uh, Simmons brand. Let's see if it's over here. That's what I'm using there. It has different speeds. One all the way to seven. I'm using the uh, the lowest setting speed to start out, and then um, I go up. Honestly, I'm only going up to about three. Now the other thing they say is to be doing it when it's overcast, not too hot out. Um, you know, no sun. Today's supposed to be on and off with sun. I'm just gonna do it even if it gets sunny. I. I don't know how much of a difference it really makes, but uh, this is how I'm doing it. My boat doesn't really fit in my garage. And uh, I mean, it's spring. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do about it if you do yours. So just do what you can do. If you can do it on an overcast day, great. If not, I don't think it'll be a, a huge issue.